This is like Christmas. It is like Christmas. <laughs> Especially since I get so, to go home with everything. <laughs> I am insanely jealous. Hey guys, so today we're here with like a totally new kind of unboxing, or at least very <laughs> different. The situation here is that these are specimens that I packed away and put in a storage unit around 2009 or 2010, and I can't remember what's in here. I figured it'd be a good opportunity to evaluate the 12 years before me. I thought I made a good buy, but uh, she's gonna judge me on that. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's unbox. Let's unbox. You can see the, uh, the oh, dust the there. Dust. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being really careful, Careful. sorry. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. hey. Yeah. Okay. I feel good about this. That's a good one to awesome. start with. Awesome. If I had to go on a limb looking at this right now, I bet money this is Los Lamentos. These are Wolfenite. I, I mean, probably had no idea what that was when I bought it. Seriously. Oh no, I, back in 2008, I don't think I'd ever even heard of Wolfenite. It has a little bit of a little Wilbur, which is just mm. a ding, you know. Rat uh, mites, sometimes people call them too. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> almost disgusting. Very nice specimen. This is pretty exciting, so all the wrestling. This is like Christmas. It is like Christmas. <laughs> Especially since I get so, to go home with everything. <laughs> yeah, that is not fair, that's ah. pretty well, awesome. this is easy. I really oh, still to this day. I wonder what that is. <laughs> little trilobite. Little trilobite. Little trilobite. And good that's actually a really one good yeah. one. He doesn't look like he's been repaired. So a lot of times what you have to watch out for with a lot of these trilobites and things like that is that people will actually paint the missing portions of it back onto the rock underneath. Because a lot of times that rock underneath will take on the shape of the trilobite. Mm -hmm. And so then they sit there and they will repair the damage and um, it's not flawless by any means, but it's like 90% no. complete. Think of like a deep sea roly poly. Mm -hmm. And the name literally means three lobes, trilobite. Yeah. Like an insect, it's not referring to head, thorax, abdomen, it's ap actually referring to line one line two, and how you have one, two, and then three. And one of the challenges with getting a good intact specimen, like for instance, here in Tennessee, we have a great location, but as I understand, all you ever get are the tails there. Yeah. Like, and then there and are I've, other locations where, where all you, you get, get are the, the heads. heads so. for, some, for some reason, it's it's the weirdest thing. You'll look at rocks and it's like head, 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 head. And there, there's no back end. You really wrap these. Oh, hello. Calcite? Yeah, that's a calcite. So the way that I know it's a calcite is number one, I've got these shapes. So these are called dog tooths. Scalenohedral. And yeah, it's a scalenohedral <laughs> shape. I also can tell too because it has these very obvious cleavage fractures all through it. Ooh, I know what this is. Oh, I wonder what that is, Christopher. I know what that is. That is a really beautiful grape colored fluorite cube. It's super clean, super nice. I guess it really doesn't have like the, I don't want to call it chattering on the edges of it like mm -hmm. a lot of Elmwoods do. No, it doesn't um, look like an Elmwood. It doesn't wood really look Elmwood. That kind of does look Illinois though. It, that 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 would be my my best that, guess uh, for it. That etching like that? Mm -hmm. I could, Yeah. I'd buy that. I'd, yeah. I could see that. And okay. if this really is Illinois, that's an awesome. That's a that's nice a, little cube. That's a nice cube. Yeah. Oh, yay. I know what that is. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. So you've got this beautiful red color with a hexagonal shaped crystal. You see this and you go, Vanadenite. I would bet money, dollars to donuts, this is Moroccan. Yeah, I have a vague memory of that one actually. I think that one may have actually been part of a larger piece. Oh no. Yeah. Wait, that we might find in here? Possibly. Oh, cool. Oh, I think I know what that is. Yeah, I know what oh, that I is. Oh, I know exactly what that is. One, two, three. Lipidolite. lipidolite. Okay. Yeah. It is definitely lipidolite mica. Nice you guys color. probably know of regular old biotite and muscovite, is and they're it... usually darker brown, black, uh -huh. grayish. Um, Fuchsite is green, but lipidolite. Is it bent? Is poipal. But yeah, that's an awesome little lipidolite yeah. brick. Wafer. I mean, wafer. Makes I don't... me think of those cookies. Nice yeah, color, nice transparency I mean, on really that. Really nice color yeah. and transparency. I don't it's think another I've one seen I don't one think like I knew to when I bought that. I did not know to backlight that to see that color. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I got something loose in here. Uh oh. I can kind of tell what these are from the feel. <laughs> Rock. Ooh, oh, nice. Yeah, it feels like a match set. 
Yeah. Petrified wood. So you can kind of see the rings in it, mm -hmm. and I mean, that's pretty cool. Those you are nice. Madagascar it's got, like, Arizona. Arizonas are usually brighter colors. Yeah. But I mean, that's not saying it couldn't be at all. My guess would be Madagascar. I would lean but towards Madagascar. Arizona, the colors of the petrified wood are like really famous for being kind of more red. Typically, when I see petrified wood from Arizona, it is much more vibrant. It could be from Washington. We get petrified wood from it's Washington true. State. We get it from Oregon. We get it from California. We get it from Texas. If you oh, see yeah. stuff on the market, like if you go to as, a show, like bookends yeah. or you're gonna see bigger Madagascar slabs and everywhere. stuff like that. You, there's a lot of Madagascar. All right, ready? Yeah. I've uncovered something much larger than the little ones we've been pulling I'll out. I'll be careful. Oh. Uh, oh, hey. I know what those are. Ah. Uh, uh, big flowery, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, crinoids. Yeah. Crinoids. Yes, these are like crinoids. crinoid stems. I'm not 100% sure, but I tend to remember that this one was from huh. Tennessee. That'd be pretty awesome. Crinoids are a creature called a sea lily. And there's actually a modern counterpart to this. Basically, you have this animal. It looks like a plant, but it's an animal. And they have a stem. They look like roots, I swear to you. Mm -hmm. And then they have a bulb up at the top, and they have these basically arms that come off of mm -hmm. the bulb. Well, those arms catch particles in the water and then feed it down into the mouth that is part of the bulb. So it, it is a, a living organism. It's a tube. And that is the tube. So yeah. that is yeah, basically kind of where they have their little soft bits. Yeah. So this would have just been a bed where a bunch of them apparently like, died over many, 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 many years. The only time that they don't really fall apart is if there's rapid burial. So if they're allowed to decay and yeah. die on their own, they, they just fall apart. So yeah, but yeah that's, little that's pretty this. neat. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. It wasn't one of my favorites back then, but it's one of my favorites Oh, now. hey, I know. Yeah. I bet I could tell you where this came from, too. So this is Galena on Dolomite, and it has a little bit of chalcopyrite on it. Damn, I'm seeing a little yellowish. Yeah, it's chalcopyrite. Bronzish color. They come out of the tri-state region in the United States, which is Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. Mm -hmm. If you were to look up Galena Dolomite chalcopyrite on the internet, I almost guarantee you specimens that look almost exactly like this are going to come up. And I would guess he probably got that pretty direct from the source too because it doesn't look it's like it's been clean. cleaned or prepared at all. No. Septarian. So septarian nodules are created when you have like uh, mud flats or mud beds and they'll desiccate or dry out rather quickly and it creates cracks. voids and cracks inside of them and then the calcite comes in later and fills them in. Dendrites. Yeah. Those are neat. Manganese. Probably. Yeah. Oh, here's something loose. Ah! Another fossil. Another fossil. Ammonite? Ah, it's an ammonite. Mm -hmm. So you have, basically it's a shell, and then the squid would have stuck out the front. Yep. Oh, hello. Whoa. Doesn't look like elm wood. It's not. It's I think it's color. Indiana. If it is Indiana, oh my word. Ooh. I've actually never seen a crystal there from there that's this big. So if it is what I'm thinking, Congratulations. Okay. So there's a couple quarries around that area, but they can get some like Celestine and stuff like that on them. Um, they're that, closed now, they're old. Do you think that's mica on the bottom? The little no, the little sparkles are other yeah. calcite crystals. Oh, okay. I mean, of course, I'd have to go do a little bit more research to just make sure. But if it really is where I think it's from, that's an American classic. Ooh. And you really could be looking at 2000. You can hit me on that when it was actually loose in the box. All right. So uh, you got lucky. I got really lucky. My goodness. Oh, especially considering this is loose in the box too. Oh my gosh. On the other side, but yeah. I don't know what this is. It's a desert rose. These usually come out of Oklahoma. So it's um, selenite with included sand. Basically it's all sand in there. No, oh, it's shoral. Black tourmaline. But that shape tells me it's probably Namibian. Oh, optical yeah. calcite. Yep. I know what that is. Stibnite? Stibnite, yep. Ooh, don't get stuck. If there's any flex crystals there. Yep, that is Stibnite. Yeah. What are those, Namibian? Spirit quartz or cactus quartz, yeah. And sadly, uh, for my presentation in Tucson this year on the different growth forms of uh, quartz, I actually went out and had to buy one of these because I didn't remember I had that. And then one last one. Oh, hey, for a light one, I think that's 
That's, oh, that's Roto. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is Roto Prosite. That's a nice little one. Nice little color on that one. Don't you look at me like that. I didn't do anything wrong. All right, Christopher, so <laughs> I am insanely jealous. I do have to say, your past self had a good eye, even though you claim you had no idea what you were doing, you did a good job. Well, one of my friends, uh, now passed, unfortunately, he actually said that my best skill was having a good idea for quality in something, even if I didn't know about it, so. Well, obviously that paid off. So, before we sign off on here, let's get a close look at a few mineral pieces, and I actually really love this rhodochrosite. tell you, I'm really happy this episode's over because I've been waiting for months to open these boxes. You have no idea how hard it was to not look through these boxes waiting for us to do this video when I found them. I can't wait to get home and get some of these on display. Thanks for uh, looking through these boxes with us. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos uh, that we'll be bringing your way. See you guys later. Thanks again.